Hello everybody and welcome back to uh Super Smash Bros Ultimate World of Light. Um Yeah, I just wanted to see the difference in time hours. Oh yeah, no, I definitely put in a lot of hours going through this file again. If it's twenty seven hours, it's twenty five. Yeah. Glad I wasted those hours, huh? Completely worthless. Oops, hello. As I move the map. Um, uh, I'll pretend that I didn't fight Gleam Darken yet, so I'll still go, go with the DLC characters. So if I did do this first to see if I would've been like that far, obviously it doesn't work like that, but you know. Also, I forgot I'm not actually up to those guys yet. Now I get to fight Eggman. Cause it is balanced right now. Dr. Eggman. Bob bombs will rain from the sky after a little while. The enemy's shooting items have increased power. The enemy is... Or, sorry. Items will be pulled towards the enemy. This is the team, by the way, that I just went through everything with. I never bothered changing it. I just went with this, even for the bosses. Oh! Actually, that reminds me. Speaking of the bosses... Uh... I took screenshots. Well, some of these are just screenshots I took. Hang on. Uh, the bosses. It turns out, when you do New Game Plus, they actually stay, they, like, they aren't silhouettes anymore. They actually show the picture of the boss. Or, well, I guess the spirit of the boss. But that's pretty cool. Oh, and also, um, I did end up winning here, and my god, <laughs> I, I, I was getting really panicky, because, like, I was at 116%. Uh, I final smashed Simon, and that's what made me win. He barely didn't recover. And a Koopa shell spawned behind me the moment I went to go final smash him. And Alucard was right there, as you can see, getting ready to kill me. Like, if he didn't die when he died, I was going to die. Also, that Koopa shell, it was actually on the ledge to the left. It, it just got knocked over to the side. Uh, also, another thing I took screenshots for, just to show off in this video... Whatever this video may be. Um, I don't know if you can... I don't know how well you can see that in the video. But... Uh, well, there should be a master hand on the bottom left corner there somewhere. I did also take screenshots of all the bosses. But, um... Why did he take screenshots here? I don't... Re oh, right. <laughs> I noticed the eyes follow you. But, um... The bosses, I, or like Crazy Hand, I never fought him once. Not a single time did I fight Crazy Hand during this entire run. It was so weird. Because I found out Crazy Hand can also spawn there for some reason. Like, they have a second spawn point every path except the bottom left one. So there's five different spots that Crazy Hand can show up. And I managed to like, abuse that. So that way I could get over to an area and beat it before him like showing up. Also, you get a thing for starting new game plus. That's all. I figured I should show that. Because I found it really amusing that uh, Crazy Hand just never needs to be fought in that, apparently. You never need to fight Crazy Hand until this world. And now that I wasted like four minutes, how about I actually go fight these spirits now? Ready, go. Ow, please let go of me. Ah, why are they spawning all over there? Why am I... Oh, you can't shoot that. Ow. He's dead? Oh no, the game saved him. Oh right, I do have to kill Sonic. Oh no, please don't kill me like that. Oh, thank goodness for the ledge. Die. Just die, please. I can't live another bomb festival.
Oh, neither can he. I think. Thank you, game, for spawning that bomb on top of them. I guess. Uh, fair warning. I probably have to make cuts during this video because, as you saw, there's still like Janine and all the other spirits, and there's like the whole balancing thing still. So, like, I still gotta deal with all of that. I did make a list, though, of the spirits that I didn't fight, so I know which ones to go for. To which, speaking of making a cut, I have to make a cut. I will be back. Hi, I totally wasn't, uh, talking to the audience for the unused footage episode. Um, let's go fight Nash. The enemy will occasionally turn metal when the enemy's at high damage, damn it about. If you're tired of me rereading these, that's like, uh, unfortunately for you, I don't remember all the spirit conditions. I just remember the spirits that I use. Goodbye. Okay, bye, Captain Falcon. That was the weakest spike in the world, I guess. Huzzah. And he's buffed. I would like to mention that that was a buff Nash. Because, I mean, it may not be accurate to when I fought him as Ganon, but, hey, if anything, fighting them as when they're buff just makes it as a punishment for what I did and accidentally cheating. How does this trophy will appear in the enemy favors? Eye special, or neutral specials. All fighters, energy attacks have increased power. God, I don't want to fight Mother Brain again. <laughs> Oh well, I kind of have to. Make me giant, and I don't know. I'll just try to kill him fast and hope that it works. Because <clears throat> uh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to dodge the Mother Brain assist trophy very well. Especially when they spawn again. I hate that they spawn again. Like, if they didn't spawn back, that, that would have been fine. me out of that because Mother Brain extended the hitbox. Oh my god, can you please just get hit? Thank you. Oh no, 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 I'm using mine. No! Piss. I'm gonna die! No! Die, yes! They didn't kill how? Actually, how? That's. Their, their final smash isn't weak. That is what I know of. As far as I was aware, their final smash was actually very strong. Oh well, I'll take it. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> I guess I'll make another cut as I need to get back to the point where I can fight with that spirit, Pigma Dengar, and also Thanatos. So yeah, I'll be back. All these cuts are made to make a fuse on what I've said and what I haven't said. Did I mention that there was a list that I have of who I haven't fought yet for? Or, like, who who I fought as Ganon. I think it's three light spirits and seven dark spirits, so... Eve. The enemy's energy attacks have increased power. The enemy has super armor as hard to make... Or, sorry, it's hard to, la to launch or make flinch. Stamina battle. Let's go ahead and... On this. I think that's good enough for me. 
Should be. It shouldn't be too difficult of spirit. I should probably still try to put in some effort not to lose, because this is technically a white lock still. Like, I'm treating it as what I mean. Ah, uh, no. Why did that push me off? I'm saddened by this. That's upsetting. Like, a ton. Holy crap. What the hell? Like, the heck? Why? Stupid Rob and his stupid tilts. Well, that, that I'm, I'm just upset now. None of these fights should have been lost to Seth Rock, but I just, I should really put in the effort. Did not die. You know, that thing I said I should probably do in the middle of this fight, but then I didn't. Screw you and your double jab. How? Oh, cause defense. I and they had. The, they were weaker too. They were a weak spirit that I lost. God dang it! The lose or the losses today are garbage. I should just finished out the game the last time I recorded. It was such a good session. Like I was talking good. Like commentary was good. Gameplay was good. Pace was good. It was great. The enemy falls slowly. The day has been awful. It's like if last episode was any indication, today has been awful for recording, apparently. Well, I guess that's just how it goes when you record a bunch of episodes in the same day. It's like, you got a bad day, you got a bunch of bad episodes. Thankfully, I still have Pyramidra. So I still have at least one character that can hit like a truck. Without having to build up a meter to hit like a truck. Arsen. Chibi Robo, this should be the last light spear I need to fight. Wait, did it? Wow. It didn't unbalance itself. Okay. Chibi Robo, the enemy's energy attacks have increased power. Hostile assist trophies will appear after a little while. The enemy takes serious damage after a little while. I don't know what the assist trophy is. Okay. Didn't mean too bad. I swear if I die to a tiny me gunner, it's going to be weakened. I'll be very sad. Ready, go. Well, I guess that's out of the question. There we go. Now I got TV Robo dead. Now all we got left are the dark spirits that I have. <laughs> to which I guess Thanatos is going to be buffed because I'm currently at Thanatos. Oops, I didn't mean to push that. Oh, curiosity. If I go Mithra, the be the lead. Does it actually put them as the walking character? Yeah. Actually, that brings me another- oops. It automatically put me back- wait, I thought I remembered your last rotation with the- that. I guess not. That brings me to the other question, like, if I went someone like, uh... Steve here, who has, like... That kind of, like, difference in their skins and stuff. Like, would it actually remember that? So, like, if I was, like, corn, and, like, would it actually remember if I was the guy corn or female corn? For, like, in the overall? I feel like I want to say no for that one, because it's not, like, a different character altogether. It's just a different look. And I don't think they carry palette swaps to this, so. Then those. The enemy is giant, the enemy is tiny after a little while. Should be easy enough. And then we got Rouge the Bat, uh, Captain K. Rule, who I'm thankful that I don't have to play a buffed version of them, and then Pigma Dengar, who I still have a fight in between. For them at least. Alright, I keep freaking you not stall and fall. How dare you. 
How dare you hit me like that, K. Roll? That's just rude. And now it's balance. Move to bat, the enemy kicks the knee, strikes on the group's power, the enemy melee blows will heal them when they hit, the enemy has increased jump power. Ready? Yeah, I guess I actually had a choice between, like, songs here. Oh, hello. I didn't think that was gonna actually work. Cause they could've went with, uh, like, Live and Learn or that. Both of those technically work. Cause she's in both games. Which game came first? Sonic Adventure 2 came first, right? Yeah, had to. Cause that's when Shadow existed first. Captain Gay Rule. The enemy's neutral special has increased power. Stamina battle. The enemy is invisible. Well, after a little while. This time I know it's invisible, not invincible. So there will be no confusion about that now. So that, that's good. This is gonna be a 20 minute episode just for like these 10 spirits. Dang. Here, I have this. Oh, hey. You did not care about that. At all. I did not Why? Oh, cause side B super armor. God, I hate his side B super armor. So stupid. Like that. Why did that move have super armor like that? Oh, <laughs> I forgot about the reflecting of that. Oh, Joke's on you. I was scared of him using his file smash. I'm rolling. Oh, come on. Goodbye. Just like that, I think we're down to one more spirit. Let me check my list. Real quick. Okay, I got another spam email. Or not email, uh, spam comment. Don't know why they keep showing up on my videos. They're not like popular videos. Or <laughs> like they're pretty tiny videos. Such a weird choice to go for. And the answer here is... Yeah, this should be the last one. Pigma Dengar. I mean, this isn't Pigma Dengar, but you know what I mean. Let me, let me make a cut real quick so I can fight this, and then we fight Pigma Dengar over by Crazy Hand. Alright, final spirit. Pigma Dengar. Defeat the main fighter to win. The enemy has increased move speed. When the enemy is at high damage, the enemy can, tends to avoid conflict. I said I removed. I was like, did I auto pick? And then I, I forgot that it was actually a remove button. Wait, I didn't hit you. Aww. If I stayed giant, they were dead. There we go. Uppy! Away! Shooting attack up. There we go. <clears throat> that should be the end of it. That should be every spirit defeated, technically by light lock rules, in a way. Piss! <laughs> they were... God... I forgot it unbalanced. They were weakened. Dang it! 
Okay, technically by light lock rules, for the most part, I mean, I accidentally weakened that one. That, whatever, whatever, it doesn't matter anyways, I lost the light lock to Gleam and Darken. Still upset about that. Oh, here, let's just look at the skill tree. Look how many skill spears I have, because I had the guild way here. Let's just go ahead and buy everything so that we can see a fully maxed out board. Actually, can I even max it out? Yes. Oh wow, I have exactly enough- oh, that's nice. I like this. I'm happy now. That's- that's actually really nice. I like that a lot. That it's actually just... Boom. Forget it. Oh, come on. Oh god, 805, jeez. That's only 695. 330. Oh. Oh, gee, that's where the majority of that comes from. Alright, yep, that'll do it for this episode, though, of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Technically the last episode. I mean, all that's left is the unused footage episode. I forgot. Again. Ignore the fact that I'm saying it again, but I forgot. But I just wanted to show, like, I didn't use any of these spirits. I... Some of these spirits don't need to be getting rid of. Nope, you do. Oh, right, Master Fear was after that. You don't get rid of... Okay, now back to you. That was that was confusing to me. I forgot I have dudes in between here. Oh, come on. I swear some of these are just unmarking themselves. Oh, his name is Andy, okay. Oh, I guess when I was showing those screenshots, I didn't get to the end, because I never showed Gabe out there, did I? Or Gallium. Gallium was the first one I found out. Did that. I've gone too far. Hang on. Luma? No, don't get rid of Luma. Or you, 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 you. Wait. Yeah, okay, there we go. 175 spirits is how many it took to get to this point. Like, I, I tried to take as short of a pass as, or path as possible. If, like, I went with the lowest amount of spirits I could possibly go for. So, and this is what I ended up with. 40,950. That's a lot of SP. Wow, that was kind of loud. And just like that. There we go. And as always, it just goes back to type. Automatically. And if we go to a up, look at all the cores we have now, or I have now. But that'll do it for this episode of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Uh, next time, we will play, well actually next time it will be the unused footage episode. And then, uh, I will go ahead and play some other games. I don't know what it's gonna be. It might even be Smash Bros. I don't know. Maybe I'll just do normal Smash Bros. videos until I can think of something else to play. Uh, whatever ends up happening. See you all then. Bye bye.